one woman, Melissa Caddick, is deepening with the grisly discovery of a second body part. The remains were found just hours after police revealed a foot belonging to the 49-year-old had washed up on a remote stretch of the beach. Lauren Tomasi has the latest. Scouring through the sand on a second south coast beach and washed up on the shore, more human remains. There was a, a mass of fairly bleached substance that had a really peculiar stench to it. Those remains believed to be an abdomen. The yeah. discoloration, the bleaching of it that was quite strange and peculiar. Well, I don't know that I'd like to be in swimming at the moment. Last night's discovery turned up 200 kilometres north of where three teenagers found a shoe with remains inside last Sunday. DNA confirmed it was Melissa Caddick. Experts had predicted a body which entered the water in Sydney on November 11, the day Melissa went missing, could feasibly drift that far. Remains found last night at Mollymook on the New South Wales south coast are now undergoing analysis. Officers close to the case have told my news they're likely linked to Caddick. Extraordinary. I mean, it's uh, sort of intriguing, like a, a real mystery novel. You know, millions of dollars goes missing, then the woman at the centre of the uh, fraud goes missing, and then, uh, you know, a few months later, uh, human body parts start washing up on, you know, beaches down the south coast. I mean, you, you couldn't write about this stuff. Well, the police investigation has now turned to compiling a report for the coroner. The probe into Caddick's alleged fraud is steamrolling ahead. The watchdog releasing a statement saying ASIC's priority is to seek the return of funds to investors. The hearing should go ahead as a priority. That hearing set down for April 7, when the federal court will also look to examine people close to Caddick's business. They're probably trying to find out whether someone else uh, is guilty of wrongdoing. No. Mr Caddick flaunted her luxury lifestyle, expensive clothes, designer handbags, pricey holidays that will make seizing assets to retrieve funds a near impossible task. Money's being spent on those things, it's likely to have gone and it's never going to be recovered. Many of Melissa Caddick's investors once also called themselves her friend, her nearest and dearest, now left out of pocket to the tune of $25 million. And experts say there's every possibility that not even a cent will be seen again. There's going to be a significant shortfall for the investors. Uh, and remember that the investors will line up behind the costs of the investigation. Yeah. Caddick's parents also left high and dry in the home they're likely to lose. Melissa Caddick wrote her story and it appears that she chose the ending. Lauren Tamazi, Nine News. Yeah, somebody else might have sorted her out.